play smart. You know, just park yourself right there on the goal line, keep it from breaking the plane, and you're good. So Florida State to the offense for the first time, but a broken up pass. So DJ Uyunglele tried to rifle one up the seam, and Amari Jackson got a hand in to knock it away. So just like that, it's second down and 10. You can cover man to man. Again, play action. This time, a slip out in the flat to Roydell Williams. And a strong tackle. Will BC bring the blitz on third down? No rush five. Uyunglele can't beat the blitz. It went right through the hands of Toa Feely, it looked like. So it and just runs a little out route, and you're going to see it right there. He's number three in the slot, number nine, Toa Feely, has the one-on-one -on -one coverage. That's just a misfire that you can't afford to have. Talk Look at BC crowding the tackle box. A lot of bodies up at the line of scrimmage in pursuit of Uwe Ungalale, who has to sidearm one short. Five or more. Here they come again. Another sidearm throw, and that goes nowhere. Quarterback run right up the middle and right into the arms of Cam Horsley. Let's go down to Chris. Here, Bob is He's back on the field facing second down and seven now. Play action. Steps away from the blitz off the edge. Picks up the block. Hit from behind. And he's about a yard. Defensive coordinator. He's talking to Cam Arnold up to 15 seconds now. Incomplete on third down. Lucas. And here comes the punt group. The pressures are just starting to get to DJ now because Tim Lewis is starting to dial for the deep overshot. As part of the three wide receiver set. Uyangalale, long throw, incomplete for two. DC brings a blitz, Uyangalale sets up Lucas. He gets free, inside the 15, sprinting inside the 10. Oh, well, there's the play, man. Sometimes you just see it. And it's just going to work out depending upon where certain guys are. You can kind of get a feel for what an offensive coordinator is trying to do. Play with quick tempo. Uyunglele. Can't avoid the sack. Down he goes. Down of the hard line. That's a great pass rush by Ezraku going up against Darius Washington. He was a fantastic athlete. You see him there with the arm over. Sets him up outside. Arm over inside. You see Darius Washington stop his feet. Uyunglele in trouble again, and he misses on a sidearm screen. Those are those plays that the DJ is just having a tough time with right now. But can you change the arm angle, throw the... You see a four-man rush. Seam route, Enzo. Broke it up. It's on best. We saw them try to work Kyle Morlock in practice on these routes down in the red zone. They wanted to get the ball to him. Mike Norbert, you gotta start dialing up some looks for him. Four man rush, Uyunglele, long throw outside the numbers, incomplete. Play action, sidearm throw, bobbled. A lot of players showing pressure, they'll rush only four. Uyunglele tries to escape the pocket, floats one out to midfield. Terrific play by Uwe Angelale. That time he kept his eyes downfield. He's absolutely, that was just a simulated pressure again. Show five, six up at the line of scrimmage, drop him out, rush with four, cover with seven, and you day Uwe Angelale. Well protected on first down here. And makes BC pay. Nice throwing catch. Florida State gets another snap off before the two minute timeout. Flags down. Back shoulder incomplete with 201. We'll take some of those, Matty. Trick play. The reverse flea flicker. Uyangalale misses coverage. So off of the two minute timeout, they dial up the trick play. Yeah, you see Kyle Morlock, he just blocks, blocks, and then you see him release down the sideline. They overthrew him a little again. Kyle Morlock is someone they want to get the ball to. They think they have. A guy. Incomplete thrown behind Ja'Kai Douglas. More than, more than four. They bring four. Louis Ungalale. Short of the first down line to gain, but not by. And there he goes. He gets the push. And an easy fourth down conversion for Louis Ungalale. That'll declare itself. Louis Ungalale. 
long. They brought five and played man-to-man -man in the back end. Rush four here. Side arms one. Slipping out of the backfield. And down inside the 10-yard line is Roy Dillon Williams. We are going to let. Floater in the back of the end zone. Wobbler comes up short. Ja'Kai Douglas is wide open in the back of the end zone. You can just see there was a miscommunication. Carter Davis, Cam Arnold, and you see Ja'Kai Douglas is sitting there at the back of the end zone. You can see the miscommunication there. You see everyone playing on the goal line, and they just turn Ja'Kai Lu Douglas loose. Looks in that same direction. Another wide open receiver, and he misses Darion Williamson. Oh, Fui Ungalale just puts a little bit of touch on that throw. It is an easy Florida State touchdown. Instead, it's third down and goal. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get here and here. And now watch these two defenders. They both jump the short route. They don't talk it through. And look what happens. They turn the slot receiver loose. They both. Formation. Another four-man rush. Uyangalale back in the end zone for Morlock. That's incomplete. Look, Kyle Morlock down in the red zone during practice. And you're going to see him here. He's matched up against Amari Jackson. He's got size and length on him. He's got position. He just can't. DJ just can't put the ball in a spot that gives him a chance. Might find out on this play. They're at least bluffing. The rush only four. Uyangalale protected and complete. Just playing with leverage, staying calm, and then just driving underneath. You see him hook him a little bit with that back arm. That's an old defensive back trick. Now BC does bring the blitz. There's a completion. Toa Feely wrapped up the. And it means that one-on-one -on -one coverage out here at the bottom of the screen. And they will snap it. Not a hard cap. A sidearm lob, and it's intercepted. Max Tucker down the sideline, inside the 10-yard line. First and goal, Boston College. A chance taken he, by FSU, and it blows up in their face. He wanted to go down here to Portier, who had, or Portier, who had one-on-one -on -one against Amari Jackson and had to pull it down. You see him look, and then he has to pull it down. The pressure's getting to him. He's trying to find somewhere to unload the football, and Max Tucker is just sitting there waiting. Tips and overthrows defensive backs. No, Aaron throws. You just got to catch it. Take a look at tonight's game flow brought to you by Progressive. Just watch how this happens. Watch these guys right here. Man-to-man -man coverage. Watch right here. You have a free dropper who just kind of hangs in the middle. And then watch the pass rush of Ezraku. He just beats the tackle one-on-one. -on -one, and it's just front and coverage all goes together. You make the quarterback pat the ball. Let him give me time to work my moves. Lock him down in the back end. Free dropper. Give out help. That's a perfect team defense, right? Do they continue to fight? Can they put together some drives? Jet sweep to Pat Douglas. Lasso down across the home one situations has been nothing short of spectacular so far in this game. Tipped ball. Nearly intercepted on the carom on third down. I mean, you just see Morlock's just running a Y stick, which is basically an out route. It goes through his hands. He just isn't able to get his hands oriented and make this catch. You've got to make that catch. That's got to be a catch. And here they come. They're in pursuit. The younger the leg dropped again by Morlock. But he's got to come up with to spark his offense. Bob, we saw them working him in practice. They want to get the ball to him. He's just like, like now it's in his head. Now he's thinking too much. Now everything is just becoming a struggle. You see third and 11 after the timeout. A rollout. Pressure coming. We young the left. On time. Jalen Brown. First down. That's a, a big third down conversion. That's a huge throw. Look, they just move the pocket, get him sprinting to his right where he's looked much more comfortable tonight. Jalen Brown runs a fantastic Boston comeback route. Sticks his foot in the ground. Get out of the break. To Georgia Tech, it drops to 1% if they don't come back and win this game. And now a trick play. The throwback, Boyangalala takes a shot. And Tron Portier got loose.
It's a gain of 29. And what happens as soon as they take Amari Jackson after, out of the game, they go after the new guy. And Nate Porter's their best cover corner. That's a smart play call by Mike Morvell. Works here again. Fights his way through contact. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown. He breathes a lot of life back into this football game. See and the crowd back in it as well. You see him right down here at the bottom of the screen. And he's going to drive 15 yards downfield before he breaks it off against Max Tucker to get Max Tucker out of his pedal, make him think he's going up the field on a go route. And you see him snap it off, and now he just turns into an athlete. He's big, strong, physical, 6'3", 2. People go, well, you know what? Considering what your, what your uh, pedigree is, we believe you will invest. So what he's doing is he's building this thing from the ground up, basically. Well, not from the ground up, but he's making the football operation and make it exactly what the big-time football programs have. He may not have all of that, but I'll tell you what. The proof is in the pudding. Get the ball again. Portier at the top of the screen, one on one coverage. You see Blitz coming. We are going to let double clutch, and that's right where they go. Aluka. Yeah, he's just going against Rikees Brown, who's in now for Murray Jackson, who I haven't seen come back in the game since he went out with those cramps with that hamstring. And they've gone after Rikees a couple different times now, which is a smart, smart move on the part of Coach Mike Norvell. And Portier is feeling it right now. You got to rock. I know you are absolutely right, Chris. I was down there pregame. I was like, man. Backpedaling, Louis Ungalale, and he just has to dirt the ball. Again, it says Araku. Blows Araku all over him, and now a flag drops out. Grounding. As Araku is just right now giving Darius Washington the left tackle for Florida State fits. You see, he's been using the same move. Stabs him outside, arm over inside. As a result, that's a 13-yard loss. And an incompletion on second down and a mile. A lot of self-doubt starts creeping in. They probably have to just try to get the fourth down in that and then go for it. Only a three-man rush. BC plays coverage, and now it's going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Down here at the bottom of the screen. As a blitz off the edge, Louis Ungalale takes that shot into traffic incomplete. So it's a fourth down stop for Boston College, and it's into the fourth. Still no answers for Uwe Angelale. On here. Uwe Angelale. Pocket collapsing. He's got nowhere to go. Sacked again. All the six. BC's third. You see Angelale coming on the right side of your screen, getting those hips turned, flattening down the line of scrimmage, not allowing Offensive tackle, Jalen Early to push him upfield. Classic pass rush. Uyangalale steps up across the goal line. He goes down again, this time at the line of scrimmage. And Akpala again, watch him off the top of your screen. You see, now he just does the high side speed brush, dips that inside shoulder. Four man rush. The quick out to a feeling. With DJ Uyunglele as they begin this drive at their own 20 yard line. DJU to the sideline. And that has been his success rolling out. Malik Benson, fantastic athlete. He's just someone they've got to find a way to get the ball to him down the field. Seam shot. Another completion. More people on the edges for Boston College's defense. Uyunglele. Nowhere to go with the football, so he throws it away over the head. Left. Sliding attempt by Darion Williamson, but he couldn't. BC brings four. Louis Underneath for a gain of four. 